I'll show you. You want to leave enough room across through there uh, for that lock nut to be in there. And um, uh, on these uh, on, the, on these axle tubes, there's a there's a uh, weld line, a joining line in this tube, and when they made it, and it makes this 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 is the size to put in there. But you you have to go by that that weld slag. But being that you're not going to take them out. It's a benefit because it secures it almost to the point, some of them, that you don't have to weld. But some of them, that's over to the side, and it'll be a loose fit. So whichever it is, you just press that in there to the length it takes to tighten it up with the cotter. And you're going to get some cotters, too. And you're also going to get, get some of these... Uh, I'm going to have to source these right here. I don't know where to get these at. You know what I mean? Um, I got these, I got these at a machinery store in the great state of Arkansas. Uh, I think this is, that's the right size. Um, yeah, I need a box in. And, and, and that, that'll go right here, if need be. If these wore or settle in, then you could put one of these on there and then put your car back in there and it tighten everything back up. Uh, but they, they just, I just, I'm going to put them in there, you know, because you might need them. And, um, and, and, and you'll get a handle to go with it. The, um, this front end right here, this, this actually, I'll show you something. This, this right here would be out of proportion because this is a, this this bolster up here is Oh, that would confuse somebody. Well, See, see this this one here in particular is a foot twelve inches long, and um, actually you only need one eleven inches long. It's a perfect fit for a one and a half to two and a half LB or LA. I'm just saying, and also uh, yeah, about nine inches. Uh, that's the size for an M if you're using a a two by two or two by four or something size skid rail would be nine inches uh wide long same configuration but it uh for these size wheels it's it's more pleasing cart and then on these um these handle things right here uh i usually i usually try to leave them out to the edge here uh, close enough to where that, which that's about a foot. Uh, so let's say if you, you actually could, on this one here, you could get out there like that. See, that's plenty of room to where that the handle will fit right in there the, with the thing, and then you put a cotter in there, and you'll get the handle material with a hole drilled in it for the cotter. So, uh, I'm just saying, uh, it's this is about to finish everything will be, and we'll put together a kit there.
Hey, D. Rusta. I seen, I seen, I seen on the YouTube here that uh, Mr. Pete two 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 has done already. Sent D. Rusta them two engines he bought from him or traded or somehow he got them. Uh, three or three engines or so. And uh, man, thumbs up, D. Rusta, for for getting in the engine uh, uh, part of it. You know, hook one of them up to one of them printing presses. Run a jack shaft across there. Put a clutch in there if you want to. But uh, thumbs up on that engine trade there between Mr. Pete and De Rusta. Um, it's a fun hobby, you know, water man. But I'll show you something. Uh, these these things out right here I'm building, like a lot of them. So, and 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 I need to get a. You know, it's not like it's high precision, but I, I, I'll show you something else right here. It's interesting, too, uh, if you're a tool collector. But if you put that straight edge across, Yonder, keeping in mind if I can lessen you with something, when you put that ruler across through there, you'll be biased or you should be in order to have a reference of measurement. Look that up. Which mine is, is right there. Okay, on the other end, I can see it's the same amount. So the line across from point to point, you can assume is in the correct position. So I'm going to put a line across there. So we, we, got, we established that. I'll show you the other part of it. Is uh, you do the same thing this way. So see when I was on this line right down here, I had my ruler on the bottom side of it like that right there. And when I come across that like that right there, I could see the point there and I could see the point down here. I knew that I wasn't higher than the line. And, and then when I put that line across there, it come out exactly on that. Okay, in order to do that up here like this right here and have that to come out to cross at the intersection of any uh, reasonable measurement is we have to position that ruler down here in the same position this way. So I'm, I'm just going to bring it. That was blow the line on the bottom. So I'm just going to bring it over here. Okay, see, that would be above the line. So I'm going to come down here below that line. And see, I had the same amount of material on each corner as I visually had on this corner. So I'm going to put it, I'm going to put an intersecting line right there across that other, at a V-shape. To confirm that we got any any degree of centerness, I'll show you something. Uh, th this is that square that we always use. It don't have no brand on it. Uh, but I can attest by ownership, it's a good one. It has the little thing right here, if you was so much to subscribe your line. It has a level in there. I'll show it to you. Uh, uh, we'll go on a little side trip with these two squares right here, and then we'll get back to that. But it don't have no stuff in it. Don't have no bubble. Never has had one. I'm okay with that. I never needed it to have one. But recently, I came up on this level here in a pick at a, a box of remnants at an auction sale. This, this square was in it some time back. Th that's the way I got it. And, and I was I, I was needing two squares in this, and I already knew it, but I, I did confirm it here on my workbench before I'm going to bring it to your attention that these two squares are identical, except in this little thing up here. And, and I did replace this some time ago. It's uh, more ornate than this one is. But same function. So... But they're identical. So I show you the reason it's important to have two of them and makes your life easier. 
And you come down here where you think that right there is, you shoot that uh, blade down through there to where you think that line is. Okay, I think right there, if I put a pencil mark at the end of this thing, this blade, which I'm going to do, I'm going to hold this square, and I'm going to put a line across here. Okay, I'm going to turn this thing out down clear around, and I'm going to take this blade up here, and I'm going to put it down here on this end without making any measurements, and I'm going to put it up like this right here, and I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to put a line across there. Okay, I'm going to show it to you. Y'all see that? You know what I mean? It's only one line. So, you know, you can look at something sometimes and tell where the center is. Okay, I'm going to do a whole bunch of these. Taking in consideration that there's possibly a saw blade. No, it ain't. They're all the same. Uh, but these are identical. So I'm not even going to take in consideration that they, one of them would be shorter than the other one, which will throw you off a little bit on this right here. But so, so we, we, know, we know half of that is. Okay, so this sudden right here, uh, what, what, what we're going to do is, see, see, there ain't no, there ain't no line on there to tip me off to that. Iron square. And, and you put this over like that to where you imagine, well, see, that has a hole in it right there, and it, a, a groove to, for your keeper, and it'll throw you off on your measurement. So use the flat side and look at the thing. Imagine where your pencil line's going to end up. So, and hold the square to the to the piece of metal, and do this right here. And okay, I'm gonna lock that in right there. And I'm gonna put that back down here like this, and I'm gonna take this pencil. That's one of them little bitty ones. It's a number two, and I'm gonna put a line like this right here. Okay, I'm just gonna flip it right over. No, I ain't. I'm going to turn it this way because it's got a flat side on it. Okay. And I'm going to put this line right down through here like this right here. Okay, see? There's two lines there. Y'all see that? So, well, you, you know, I don't have to go no further because right there is exactly the center you know, halfway between this line and halfway between that line is center on the sideways. And there's no reason to, to, there's no reason to move it out a little bit, you know, like it right there. And then put it on there and make another line because you done already got a line you can see and work with. And if you put another one on there, it'll be such a wide line, you won't know what you're doing. <clears throat> so, at this point, we pretty much, we pretty much established that's a center there. Now we're going to punch it. What should be? Yeah, okay. Like right there. Well, I wish that punch was a little sharper. But, that nevertheless, you know, and what you do, you get a shadow on your lines you're going to put down there with that lead pencil or whatever marker, and you put the center on this thing right here, imagine it where it fits right there. When you tip it up, you'll be on center on that right there. So. Uh, okay, that's where we're going to drill that hole at right there. You know what I mean? That's halfway between that line and that line and that center on that line right there. I'm going to make it a little deeper. And at the same time, it is a little, well, it's actually because I put a a little, one line on one side's a little more thicker than the other side, but eh, I turn that in for great. You know what I mean. Man. But also, at the same time, to make that a little bit deeper, more, that's where I really know where it's at, I'm going to move it over a little bit. Okay. See, I moved that over in there. Any way you look at that thing right there, that's on the center. It's halfway between them lines, and it's dead center on that other one right there. 
Now, what you want to do if you can, if you want to confirm where you're at, you take your your square grid and leave it where you was at a while ago, and then you put it up there, and, and y'all see that? I show it to you. It's exactly half on that thing, that punch mark. And if you turn that around like this, and you put it down like that, oh yeah, it's half on it. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> Uh, getting better, <clears throat> and, but I think it's well. We'll see. Well, oh yeah. Well, I'm gonna turn this in for Greg. You know, I, I two or three people's got on to me. People watches my videos, has got on to me about turning stuff in for Greg. But I'm gonna turn that punch mark in for Greg. <coughs> Because if you put this right here, you see that whole punch mark is at the end of that. It's perfectly with it. Okay, if you turn this around and you put on the top, it's exactly the whole punch mark. Meaning that that punch mark is in. I'm not, well, maybe I should, you know. Man, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even drag nothing battery powered out here. But, you know, it's got a zero on it there. And I'm gonna probably up here so I can see it on the light of her. Um, okay. I'm gonna lock that in right there. And then I'll show it to you. This is on the top. If you come down there, you see you see that blade is almost 100% center on that hole when you hold it up here at the top. See that? Can you help? Anyways, take my word for it. Okay, I'm going to turn around like this right here, and I'm going to measure down here. Oh, yeah. Well, I wish y'all could get a measurement on that right there. You, you know what I mean? I'd turn that hole in right there. Being, being that... Uh, uh, you're not 